a explains to our belly here with ukulele lesson at my music store island guitar in key west i got my little buddy here hunter who's taking some ukulele lessons he has a really cool ukulele by the way with some cool colorful strings on it which i, I dig that's very cool all right now we're doing this one song from one of my favorite all-time movies ever is the lion king i love that movie and there's a song in there that's called i think it's called in the jungle and then like a, a parenthesis, and then it says, The Lion Sleeps Tonight. I think that's the full title of the song. But anyway, this is the version on ukulele that we use for our students. We're using three chords. The first one is the C chord, and I'm using my third finger. Remember, on the stringed instruments, we have a thumb, and then finger one, two, three, and four. Okay, a piano player can say, uh, you know, they have five fingers, but on, 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 a, on a string instrument, we usually just say the thumb is not number one, it's just the T or thumb, and then fingers one, two, three, four. So for the C chord, I like to use the third finger, and we're gonna be on our third fret right here, if you notice, and the first string, remember we count them this way, towards our face, one, two, three, four. So the fourth string is this one, the first one is here. So I can say, let's put our third finger on the first string, on the third fret and then we strum all of those strings and that makes a beautiful sounding c chord now the next chord is the f chord and for the f chord we're going to put the first finger on that second string and then i'm going to skip a string and put my second finger on the second fret of the fourth string and then we strum all those strings and remember now you take your third finger off from the c chord that's not needed for the f chord now and you got the beautiful F chord, okay? Now, after the F, it goes back to the C chord. And then from the C chord, it's gonna to go to the G7 chord. And to make the G7 chord, you slide this finger back one to the second fret, and then you put your first finger down like you were gonna make the F chord before on the first fret of the second string. And then this finger falls right in place here on the third string, remember one, two, three, on the second fret, one, fret one, two, my second finger. And now you got the beautiful G7 chord. The song, the way that we strum it with our picking hand, is kind of like a one, a two, a three, a four. And the best way to remember this, buddy, is remember the song starts off where they go, a weem away, a weem away, a weem away. So I think like a weem away, I pick it just like I'm saying it. All ween. So the uh's coming up and then the way is going down. All ween. Oh, and, and ween. All ween. All way. All ween. All way. All ween. All way. All ween. All way. And now what we try to do is get the um, chords to fit in while we're doing this. You start this up like a motor. And this doesn't start once you start the song up. So watch. All ween. All way. gist of it so you you don't want this hand to stop when you go to change the chord okay that's very important it's very important to keep this hand just going like this and then one, two. even if you have to take a second to make this chord I keep strumming over here on this hand even if this hand is not finished making the chord yet it's okay your left hand will learn to catch up to your right hand sometimes we have to be kind and slow the right hand down just slow it down a little bit so the left hand can catch up. But you never want to stop your right ear picking hand in the middle of a song. When you do that, it's just like hitting stop on the on the uh, radio and shutting it off. You can't do that. When you stop your picking hand moving, that shuts the song off. So we have to just keep the hand moving at first slow enough so that we can make the chords with our left hand 
I might suggest to start this song, we do slow like this.